Gallagher. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Failure to close the poverty-related attainment gap, failure to amend the UN Convention of the Rights of the Child, failure to close the pupil-to-teacher ratio. Fewer teachers, fewer maths teachers, fewer English teachers, fewer classroom assistants, fewer primary, secondary and ASN schools. School buildings unsuitable for modern-day teaching. Over a thousand school buildings not inspected in the last 10 years. Failure to reduce classroom sizes. Violent attacks on our teachers. Exodus of private and voluntary nursery staff, fewer childminders, 11,000 childminding places lost, not keeping the promise, entries in higher science subjects at a five-year low, entries in higher English and maths at a five-year low, teachers sidelined in education reforms, key recommendations on SQA reforms rejected, literacy and numeracy standards failing, curriculum for excellence uh, and an unmitigated failure. Presiding officer, there's clearly not enough time to go through the list of failures by this SNP government. Where are the laptops? Where are the bikes? Presiding officer, this is a legacy of an SNP-run Scotland. So my question is simply this. What mess created by the Cabinet Secretary's predecessors will the Cabinet Secretary focus on first? Cabinet Secretary. To say, what a dispiriting question from uh, Megan Gallagher. I don't really know where to start. No. Now, I met. Well, I spend. I spend a lot of my time presiding officer, speaking to teachers, speaking to those who work with our children and young people. I spent a lot of time on Friday and on Saturday speaking to the Secondary Teachers Association at their conference and at Naswitz conference in, in Aberdeen. And I think more broadly, it's really incumbent on all of us to remember this is about our children and young people and not to politicise yep. these issues. As the member has sought to do, reading out a list of policy areas does in no way help to improve children's lives in Scotland. And talking about failure, in my view, is also not the place to start. Working constructively with government is the way in which we can improve children's lives. Members. That's why, of course, later this week I will be meeting with Ms Gallagher's colleague. I will be meeting with my opposition counterpart in the Labour Party and in the Liberal Democrats. And I will work across party boundaries on this issue because it's absolutely important that we get this right for Scotland's children and young people.